So I'm Julie, Julie Uno, from the organization Internet Without Borders or Internet Sans Frontières in French. So we are a Paris-based organization working on digital rights and internet openness and uh, accessibility to all without discrimination. And uh, I myself am Cameroonian, I live in Paris, uh, but I've worked a lot on the issue of cyber development, how the, the, the internet is developing in the, on the African continent, so obviously the issues of censorship, of uh, uh, network interference are very central in my, in my work and in the work of the organization. We have a, a, that, a huge network of uh, human rights defenders, digital rights defenders whom we're, we've been working with for the past seven years, uh, who are, whom we've trained on uh, digital security, who've, uh, whom we've discussed the issue of uh, surveillance and the issue of uh, personal data, how they're managed in their countries, respective countries, and of course now more, more, more than ever uh, the issue of uh, uh, internet censorship and more uh, radically the issue of internet shutdowns, which is widespread unfortunately on the, on the continent. We do a lot of advocacy, so we, we are we are a member of the, the Keep It On coalition that was created by um, Access Now uh, in, uh, in 2016. Uh, it was created at a timely moment because uh, we, we've seen a, the, the number of uh, internet shutdowns skyrocket on the continent in Africa globally but specifically in, uh, in Africa between 2015 and 2016 and it's even worse now in 2017 so uh, we've done a lot of advocacy uh, our, our priority is really trying to have a sense of where it could happen what what are the the the, the signs that suggest that something could go wrong when it comes to internet connectivity. So of course there are patterns related to elections, political uh, instability. Our advocacy work is also focused on trying to s stop this and change this, change the perception of the international community. We all know that the UN says that human rights online are, are human rights offline as well. Uh, but how does that translate on a, on a concrete issue such as the one we're talking about, which undermines totally the, the ability to exercise rights online. We want to technically understand how these shutdowns are possible, how they are conducted, shutdowns as in total internet blackouts, but also as in social media censorship, so social media shutdown as we call them. Uh, how is it practiced? Who, who, who has the power, the technical power and uh, capability today in the countries that we work on to do so? And is there a possibility to hold these people accountable for this uh, uh, denial of, of service. The internet shutdown in Cameroon was, I think, uh, one very good example of a successful uh, advocacy campaign, which used all the spectrum of um, uh, arguments that are possible to oppose to this type of censorship. The technical issue and aspects, but also the economic aspects, how internet shutdown are affecting, affecting the economy. Uh, the human rights aspect, how internet shutdown are shadowing other human rights violations and also, most importantly, involve a variety of actors who do not necessarily have a very deep knowledge of economics or digital economics, but at least uh, to reunite all this different uh, set of actors uh, was a very, I think, very interesting case study uh, that I think could be replicated elsewhere uh, and could be used as, a, yeah, how can we anticipate and how can we respond and how can we obtain results. The way we use uh, Uni, Uni, Uni's work and Uni's data uh, is, uh, I mean, it's very essential for our advocacy work. Uh, Uni's data are very, very detailed and very technical. And this is something that we don't have as civil society. We don't, we, we barely have dev, dev developers or uh, people who understand how the, 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 the technically this type of censorship are possible. So it's very important to be able to document through the, the use of tools such as the one uh, such as UNI, to document the technicalities behind this censorship. And when we are able to understand the technicalities, it's also possible to develop, well, to, to advise people better on how they can counter this when it's possible. So uh, how to counter this type of uh, social media censorship, for instance. The work of UNI has made possible the reflection on the necessity of this type of tools and this type of, of uh, further research better understand censorship in order to better fight against it and better circumvent it. Yeah.